making something, now you have a global resource that can help you fact check your process. It really is a ecosystem of news. So journalists shouldn't see Twitter as a threat, they should see it as a helping hand on the road towards creating better news. We need journalists because on social media, if we keep surrounding ourselves around like-minded voices and our friends and our family, that's going to be all the information we get. And it kind of shapes your worldview based on your social media connections. Social media, it's useful in a number of ways for journalists, but you have to worry about not having certain editors saying this is important and this is not important. If the people truly have the power over what is news and what is not, that's going to be very different landscape. People in general are interested in things like celebrities and things that are funny. They're interested in what's going on right here in the United States, but maybe not as much in the world. It's almost scary how often we're seeing roundups now. This is what people are saying on Twitter. This is what people are saying on Facebook. And I have to ask this question though, is it actually newsworthy? Another thing we forget, it's really important, is that there are a lot of people who are not on Facebook and Twitter and their voices are not being heard. So I think for journalists, the important thing is that that we filter through all the noise and surface the most important things. If you worked in a newsroom 20 years ago, most people consumed information and they consumed the information that you produced if they consumed information at all. I think all of a sudden journalists are kind of face to face with the fact lots of people are speaking all at once. There isn't just one way to be a journalist anymore. And the one who Welcome back to Philippines and Cut. I'm your host, Buddy Conan, and tonight's topic is the future of print media. And joining me still are the cool cats from pst.ph, online magazine, online news portal. It's uh, Alj Asuncion, music and entertainment editor, and of course, my good friend, Kathy Kenny, who is the editor in chief of pst.ph. So, Kenny and Alj, welcome back to our Hi. second segment. Now, interesting video, no? It showed. Um, it talked about the relevance of, of journalists mm -hmm. in the digital e era, the need for, for re responsible journalism, yes. for, having, you know, for filtering through the garbage. Because as we know on, on social media today, I mean, anyone can be, it, it's given us a soapbox, anyone yeah. a soapbox to stand on and, and rant and say stupid things and irresponsible things, etc., etc. So it's tremendous power but also tremendous danger there. Now, how do you guys in PSST.ph um, deal with this in your magazine to, to keep the standards or bring the standards up because uh, that's a problem with online a lot of people the reason why a lot of people perhaps view online a bit skeptically mm -hmm. or with some skepticism is because of all the garbage that's yeah. out there so how do you guys um, handle this well on my team we have really strict rules I enforce uh, very strict rules I tell them that if they cite a source it has to be verified like five times minimum to make sure that really? all the data is wow. sure because I tell them once it's out there we can't get it back yeah. and nobody really wants to go to jail for something that yeah. could have been fact-checked I remind them that you may not be journalist but you are presenting information so you should act like one and also if you want to be respected as a journalist then you need to start acting like one um, we also avoid clickbait, so I don't like those clickbait where... Let's define clickbait to people clickbait who don't know what it is. is uh, for example, you say, so-and-so actress fell off the stage. But then when you click on it, you realize that her falling off the stage is actually part of the act. <laughs> so it's not an accident, yeah. it wasn't something scandalous. Well, it's like uh, the, the latest broha with the uh, <clears throat> president, our beloved president Duterte. Yes. Uh, no people saying, saying yeah. that he cursed Obama, but in fact, then, if you he, listen, it wasn't, it he wasn't, wasn't cursing the man. He was just cursing the situation. As an expression, like the situation, he yeah. Curse at yeah. Obama. But you know, people posted it as cursing at Obama because you would most likely click on that article. Absolutely. So absolutely. on us, integrity is very big. I tell them that we can go viral without having to lie to our readers. And I always want Stotph to be credible. We want that when people hear the name, they know that we give legit information, that it's checked, it's um, real, and that we don't do satires or we will never um, abuse the trust that is being given to us. Because as you know, Trust is hard to earn, absolutely. but it takes one wrong article uh, absolutely, absolutely. to ruin everything. And the problem with things it's being true. online now is that once it's out there, 
it's there forever. Yes. That's scary. <laughs> it's scary. It and like in the old days, no? In the old days, okay, maybe a week goes by, two weeks, and people forget people about forget it. forget about done. it. It's no true. more record. Expunged, now, right? Now, it yeah. gets screenshot, and years later, somebody Your grandparents are going to Googling exactly. you, and this stuff is going to come out, no? Exactly. It's scary so, stuff. So the, the team, um, everyone's on board, and I made sure that the people I hire on the team also have the same ethics that TSST stands for. It's all about integrity. It's all about being real. How about entertainment? I mean, you uh, do you handle any controversial stuff in your department? I and mean, entertainment's always kind of spicy, no? Well, yeah. Here's right. here's the thing, though. I mean, uh, the the way we we approach uh, uh, writing articles is is more of um, personal, but but unbiased. So instead of like tackling something that would create uh, create uh, a voice that, that that that's biased, like like. Um, try to focus your article or your writing in, into something different. Like, be it a personal, uh, personable experience for, for the readers. So again, like what I said earlier, instead of like t talking about um, this artist who, who, who did not continue his um, basically concert here, um, write about the songs that, that you can listen to while, while waiting for his next schedule or something like yeah. that. You well, know, we you focus wanna... more on the, on the art or the um, topic or the subject and one of the things that we make sure is we don't do anything we don't post about anything scandalous yes you know there oh, really? are so many oh, wow. there are so many sites focusing on that yeah we yeah. don't want that because because you know that's the thing that's why i said i was kind of uh, surprised because a lot of these online platforms and, and also in, in in traditional media mm -hmm. you know sensation is what sells we right we we don't do sensationalism we don't do scandalous things if there's a hot topic that's scandalous we don't post about it because this is for the Filipino community. This is going to be for the future generation okay. of Filipinos. I have a question. Um, would it be a danger then that if you kind of avoid these scandalous or hot topics now, you could be missing out on an issue that people are probably wondering, they go to your site and say, you know, I want to read about this, knowing that you guys are responsible, blah, blah, all this, no? and yeah. they don't see it there. Uh -huh. Parang isn't there like a gap there? Um, I think I would have to disagree because um, we've been up for about six months. We're actually already reaching 400,000 page views, wow. unique visitors. So I think we are offering something. 400,000 unique? Yes. I mean, it's not, it's not like repeat visits. No, and stuff. no, 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 it's no 400 unique. unique. And wow, so bravo. I think we're offering something that they actually want. And you know, if they want those uh, scandals, they, they can go to the other They can go to stuff, a lot of places. You know. With us, we want you to leave our site feeling good, feeling happy feeling that you were informed on That's a certain nice. topic. And it's <laughs> really nice. relatable no, no, at nice. best. And it's very yeah. relatable, <laughs> very exactly. Nice. So very nice. again, um, like what the Board of Directors wanted, it's stories that the Filipino people want to yeah. read about and should be reading about. And the feel-good stuff, right? I mean, I, I'm personally fed up with seeing all this garbage in the news, and mm. especially on your Facebook feed, right? Yes, that's Always, true. Always, what the hell is coming? What, we what we never discussed on, right? during the, the election <laughs> when people were, you know, kind of, already killing each other we never discuss that on the site um when there are issues and people are just hating we never feature that on the site on our site it's always about you guys must drink a lot of cool aid huh <laughs> 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 we'll explain things to you we'll make you understand no no nice why, nice you know, i like it i like this it is happening i'm feeling it we'll tell you what you guys can do to just you know <laughs> feel good about things there are so many miseries in life yeah. we don't want to add to it bravo bro no even that alone it's a, such a nice it's a very refreshing Okay, 400,000 um, followers or, or, um, or visits. Visits. Okay. And, 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 and counting, no? Yes. How do you reach out to your, to your I mean, obviously, you're, you guys are an online platform. I mean, do you take advantage a lot of I mean, Facebook, of course. Uh -huh. and all yes. this. How do you reach out? It's actually very organic. You know, um, there, there are different ways of reaching out to, to, to readers. Like, one is social media. So we, we try to post about um, what we wrote, what are the new stuff that they can check out from the magazine. Aside from that, uh, from, from our own circles, because like for example, I'm a musician, so I, have, I, I know a lot of musicians also like, hey guys, I, I just posted a new playlist online, so you might want to check it out. And then from there, it, it spreads, it spreads like a disease, you know, <laughs> <laughs> before you know it. The work of social network. Yeah. So the 20 writers in the group are just the ones who share. We don't do ads. We've never... You don't do ads. We don't do we ads. Don't do ads. Do your money. <laughs> um, no, no, I mean, we don't oh, have you, you, ads oh, about oh, you the guys magazine. Don't advertise. Yeah, okay, we right. don't. Um, you right. know, we don't have anything um, posted on Instagram that is like a sponsored post. Um, everything was just really organic, which made it so amazing because I, re I realized myself 20 individuals can actually reach 400,000. 
And mm -hmm. these are not even, like, we don't have celebrities in the group. These are ordinary people who just really wanted to okay. share. 20, 20 writers, and it sounds like each of you could be a blogger, right? I mean, like, you have a blog, you have a blog, the mom, housewife has a blog, or a chef who's coming on has a blog. Would it, it sounds like to me that PSST is an is a avenue, like a town hall, for bringing all these bloggers together under one umbrella. And then, is that a right thing? Is that the right Actually, analogy? Actually, I would I, I disagree because mm. in the group, there are less than 40% who are bloggers. The rest don't have a blog. No, but, but that's my point. It's like you're bringing in all these people who can have their own blogs and then yes. just bring them under one roof, make sure there are rules and blah, blah. Yeah, so like it's basically just tapping out different people who have interests um, and passion and then having them write their ideas and channel it into one portal. And having some sort of control. Unfortunately, yes. the yes, blog is yes. fear, right? I mean, a lot of people, yeah. it's, it's, it's lawless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a wild west. <laughs> anyone can do can say anything. I mean, how, regardless of how ridiculous it may be, true. anyone can say anything, no? Well, and I've had instances in the group where, you know, I edited something out, I changed the photo and one of the writers said I'm hurt why did you change it and I said well remember in the group I'm going to be the one to face everyone and yes. I felt that you know we need to yeah. take that out or to change it but it's always for the protection of the group yeah. and yourself and I think that's the big difference between a blogger and a journalist mm -hmm. a yes. blogger doesn't have any control no it's he's true. the boss I mean, yeah. and like a journalist whether you're talking about online like you guys or traditional print media there's always a team that overlooks what you're doing and makes i mean there's a, there are checks and balances yeah now. it's very important True. to have that i think it's very important For sure. even as i don't know about other blogs but when i was doing blogging i made sure to check on myself that you know um is this something that i should really post about is this really something that i should share about you need to think of the repercussions especially for me um i've been blogging for 11 years now and um i don't think i would have lasted this long mm. if i didn't of check course. on myself constantly course, that you yeah. know i shouldn't post about this i shouldn't you know this is something that yes it's personal it's my site but there are things that are better left unsaid so my rule has always been if i can't say it personally i won't post about it and that's where the respect for the online journals will come when people know that when they read you guys they know it's not just you on your soapbox but mm -hmm. yeah. there's actually a group behind you that you, you have a certain norm you have norms you have certain uh, rules and, to follow and, they and, check and, and on me standards. As well. They check on me. Like yeah. if I may, if they feel that I, 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 I'm wrong about a decision, they have the freedom to say. So hey, it's like you a know? collaborative, free, yeah. free, yes, free flowing organization, uh, horizontal, not vertical, that kind of thing. Yeah, I would yeah. say that the you know the title of being editor in chief is just just so we have an official title, but it's a collaborative effort. I, very nice. We very wouldn't nice. be where we are without these people. I always tell them that my team is the one making it work and you know for artists like you and i think all of your artists right yeah. the chef all that and i think that's how artists best operate now yes like a free, free flowing kind free flowing of. but, but <laughs> functions as a team because yeah. when yeah. They, they pitch the topic it's like just tell me anything and why we should and okay go ahead what can people look forward to you uh, to reading in your department your section well people can look forward to a lot of um, new movies and new playlists for music and I, I'm starting to create also uh, playlists for TV shows. So these are the things that th they need to know about. Like what are the, the, the movies from, from the 60s, from the 70s that, that people have not heard of? Because I wouldn't call myself as a movie buff, but, but, but I, for some reason I, I, I surprise a lot of people like, oh, you should check out this movie. And then they're like, hey, how come I didn't hear about that? So, oh yeah, read the article because there are more of that. So yeah, I, I'm trying to, to focus more on like, what other people's um, uh, what, what other people are supposed to 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 see and to know about now? So it's it's not really just like what's what's the now or for example like the new Godzilla movie. Like, have you seen the 1990 version and what's the comparison of that nice. to the 2000 version? Nice. So we so bring back the old nice. ones because we feel that they should also be recognized. That for you to really say you're a movie person or you're a music person, you need to recognize the past to also appreciate the present and the future very well said very well yeah. said. guys <laughs> unfortunately we have to come we've come to the end of our second segment but we're going to be joined soon by uh kirk stephen Nguyen. is a chef and food editor yes firstly one of my favorite topics food. <laughs> yeah. so guys stick around because more of the future of print media and of course pssd.ph when philippines uncut returns yes.